Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. And you're probably wondering why there's no projector screen in my room right now. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So as you know, I got a projector screen from Elite Screens. Um, here's the original one. Here's the new one. I'll dive into why this is happening, but huge props to Elite Screens already for the fact that they were able to process this RMA return so quickly and were super helpful when it came to customer service. And so in today's video, I'm going to be reinstalling a new projector screen. Unfortunately, with the first one I got, I got a super early release, like before they were even ready to be out in the market. And what happened was it had some minor screen defects. I let Elite Screens know. They were super cool about it. We worked through it. I sent them pictures to help with their quality assurance. We did a whole little mini project on this and they quickly sent me out another screen, which was incredible. I will, they also let me keep this other screen to fiddle with and play around with if I want to. But basically it was just some memory lines that were on the projector screen that were really affecting the picture. And so once I communicated that to them, they were cool about it. And so in today's video, I'm gonna do an unboxing, setup, and review of their Starling Tab Tension 92 inch motorized screen. It is what I had previously, it's the exact same screen, but this should be clear of any quality issues. They've worked out the kinks. This is now available for consumers, and so I'm really excited to get the new screen up there and check it out and show you guys all about it. All right, guys, so here she is unboxed. It's pretty easy. You just got to pull the four um, side panels, these little tough cardboard things off. And then it comes with styrofoam nicely packaged. And so now I need to take that and I need to hang it up here. The nice thing is I already have the brackets in. So all I need to do is literally pop this in here and then I'm actually good to go once I plug it in. It's going to be very simple. So I already got the new screen up there and all set and ready to go plugged in as you can see these back brackets super easy you just basically pop it in there and then it locks and holds and that's it so now looking at some of the features of this you have a side panel here which if you open up is how you can manually control the screen going down and coming up um, there's also some settings you can do where you can preset um, how you want this to drop down so I can preset it to the way that um, I want it to be for my room but you know it's a fairly big screen for this room it's 92 inches and um, you know it's just a it's pretty big for the room size but it works for me uh, I have a projector which can handle it and elite screens you know it's a pretty good product overall uh, high quality build very easy to install I installed it myself in just a few minutes uh, and so I appreciate the, the build quality and the total package right off the bat. And so now I've dropped it to where I typically have it uh, for watching movies. I have it just with a little bit of a black bar at the bottom and then it comes down uh, just above my center speaker. It actually fits in very nicely right behind it. So I have nothing to worry about there. And it doesn't come down low enough that it interferes with any of the other electronics. Now the screen itself, you can see it's a little bit of a different color. Uh, it's what they call a Cine Gray. Uh, so this blocks light and uh, is a little bit better than just a typical white screen. So I do like that. I've, I've seen some really good color with it. I've had a really good time using it. One of the things that does bug me about it though, is you can see these little lines here. Might be hard to make out. You can see there's these little lines here and then here and then there's one up at the top as well. Uh, and what those are, they're memory lines. So when the projector rolls up, um, and it's been rolled up for who knows how long in the factory or whatever, and then it came to me, those memory lines, it just, they're kind of like folds almost. As it rolls up, it rolls a certain way. And so that's why every few inches you'll see those. Now, if we back up from here, you can't really see them, right? It's very hard to tell. And most of the time when watching a movie on this, I cannot see them. But if there is a scene where, um, you know, it's very bright, very white colors, um, think I was watching Alien Covenant the other day and the opening scene is in a very bright white room, then the memory lines show through 
a lot more than on a darker scene. On a darker scene, I actually can't see them. I can't see them at all from my seating distance. Now, I talked to Elite Screens about it, and that's part of the reason why they sent me a replacement was because the one I had before this was actually really, really poor when it came to the roller memory lines. And this one is much better. I'm having a harder time making it out. It's one of those things where like, if you're looking for it, you're gonna find it. But if you just ignore it and you just watch the movie, eventually your brain's gonna forget it's there and you're not even gonna see it. The other thing they told me is that at the seating distance that I'm at, um, that it would be better if I was a few feet further back, which is impossible with the size room I have. But if I was, you'd be less likely to see any lines like that or wrinkles or anything on the screen. And so if you're gonna sit close to this, if you're gonna sit eight to 10 feet away, you know, that's a problem. If you're gonna be more than 10 to 12 feet, uh, 15 feet away, you won't even notice these things. So it's really a minor inconvenience for me because of the size of the room. And overall, you'd never know. You can see back here, you can't see any of those lines looking at it even from uh, 10 feet away. It's only when you get really close like I am and you're sitting and you're really looking for it that you're gonna see those. One of the nice things about this screen, and again, as we get closer, you can kind of make out there's a memory line right there um, that is at the bottom of the screen. But one of the nice things about this is that it has the uh, tab tension. And so I can actually play with this. I'm not gonna mess with it because I have it where I like it, but you can loosen or tighten this, uh, this uh, cord right here, this piece of string, and it's gonna pull on the screen. You can see it's pulling all the way down the side. And by tightening this, you're gonna be able to tighten out any wrinkles that come with it, uh, anything like that. When I first got it, this whole section, you can actually just, very faintly make it out right now that there were a couple waves in here. Um, it was kind of wavy when I got it. And basically what you need to do is just keep it down for a few days. So once I had it, I just hung it like this. I brought it down, uh, tighten the tensions up so that that was all good. And then just leave it down, leave it hanging down before you use it. Leaving it down, the gravity is just gonna get rid of the waves. It's gonna let it just settle and flatten out. And the tension that you put on the sides is gonna make this screen um, nice and flat. The only issues I have now are those roller lines. I don't have any waves anymore. That's one of the key things about this. Being a drop down projector screen, a lot of times you get a lot of wrinkles or really bad roller lines. And with the tab tension and the way they have this set up, you're not gonna get that. It's a higher quality pull down screen. Uh, you know, most people would say that the best thing to do is get a fixed screen. And I probably agree with that. That's probably your best bet, but this is really convenient. You could put this into a ceiling. I can, I can roll this up and you never even see it. So I can uh, watch on the TV behind it, play games on the TV behind it. I can do all sorts of stuff and you never even really notice this is there. So for the convenience factor, and you know, using the remote one click up and down, uh, it's a really, really nice projector screen from Elite Screens. So that's about it for this video. Just wanted to do this quick review and unboxing. Uh, Elite Screens has been great with their support. Also, this screen does look kind of cool in the room with all the black, and I have all the black speakers and um, you know everything else in the room. The seats are black, like it's kind of messy in here, but everything's black, and so it looks really nice. But Elite Screens was really cool with their whole tech support uh, and replacement and the way they helped me out big time. So yeah, overall, I would recommend the Elite Screens uh, Starling Tab Tension Cinegray. It's a really nice screen. It, it's a really good build quality. Very easy to install as long as you have some studs and you can find the ceiling. Uh, the rafters up there and drill into a couple pieces of wood. Um, as long as they're solid, you know, you're going to be all set. This thing is hung for um, six months now. I haven't had a single issue. There's no cracks in the ceiling or anything. It was super easy to put in. Just make sure you're going into a stud for sure up into the rafters, uh, into the attic beams. Uh, you can also, if you have the money, maybe you're building a new home theater, this thing can go right in the ceiling and then drop down. You'll never even see it. It builds right into the ceiling. You can get a white one as well. And so you literally won't even notice it's there until the screen drops, which is really cool uh, if you're looking for a really clean look. That's one thing I like about it is I can put this screen up and it doesn't need to stay fixed so that it doesn't constantly look kind of crowded in here. Um, that's a really big feature for me. The issue with the memory lines, like I said, Elite Screens was really cool. 
They worked with me. I sent pictures to them. They actually said they're going to use my pictures uh, to better their quality assurance process to know to show people what to look for before something goes out and gets uh, tested and then sent to a customer. So that was really cool. I worked with them on that. And then they they shipped me a replacement like that. It was super quick. I returned the other one. Very, very easy process. They were great to deal with. So thanks to them for sending it. It's been an awesome screen to have in this room. They have it in a variety of sizes. I have the lowest, smallest size, 92 inches because of my room. But you can get this thing up into the hundreds, 110, 120. Uh, it goes pretty big. So if you're looking, for, you know, if you have a much bigger room, there's nothing to worry about. You can get this screen in a larger size. So again, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you liked it. Um, I'll leave a link to the Elite Screens. Uh, the Starling tab tension that I have here. I'll leave a link on Amazon to that if you want to check that out. Also remember to follow me on Instagram. Definitely check out all the other links to Amazon that are in my uh, video description. And you can also um, support the channel by buying merchandise or donating through PayPal. There's a few different ways you can help out if you're interested. I don't ask for any of it. I don't put it behind a paywall. So totally up to you guys. But if you want to get some merch, now is a great time to do it. Got some cool shirts up there. Um, and thank you again to Elite Screen, sending this for review, then working with me to replace it, and then eventually letting me keep it um, is a really cool thing. So I hope you guys support them. They've been a great company, and I think they're a really nice screen. Uh, if you're looking for something that needs to be a drop down that you need hidden, this is a really, really good choice. So thanks for watching this. You'll see the screen and many more 4K reviews to come. I got some cool movies coming out here. And then we'll be talking about some stuff that I'll probably get at Christmas. And I got some reviews to catch up on. So lots to stay tuned to. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be back with more videos.